Android Galaxy Greece, my name is Andreas and today we're uh, doing our full review on the HTC Desire 816. Now this is not going to be a, an extensive review because uh, frankly you don't need one. Um, let's look at the hardware first. Uh, the hardware is a 5.5 inch display, 720p, not 1080. Uh, on the back we have a 13 megapixel camera along with its flash. On the top we have a um, the uh, input jack and a small microphone. On the bottom we have the uh, micro USB port. Uh, on the side we'd expect the sleep wake button and the volume rockers, but no. On the right side we have the uh, micro SD card with uh, up to 128 gigs of expandus, ex expandable <laughs> memory and the nano SIM card. Now the buttons are I'm sorry, but idiotically placed on the left, uh, which is ridiculous for a 5.5 inch phone. Uh, on the front, uh, except the 5.5 inch 720p display, we have the stereo speakers, which are great, and a five megapixel camera. Now, I don't really have much to say about the UI. It's Sen6 on top of uh, Android 4.4.2 KitKat. Uh, it's not really anything major uh, as opposed to everything else you've seen from the One M8 or the One Mini 2. It's the same skin, um, precisely the same skin. There's Blinkbit on the left and that's it pretty much about the UI. You've seen it before, it's nothing new. Um, I can tell you that I've been having a lot of fun with the phone uh, by uh, playing games, watching movies, consuming media because it's a it's a great big display and it's a great fun to uh, consume media for, from a 5.5 inch display and uh, with conjunction with the um, stereo speakers. Now uh, we did have the uh, LG G3 uh, in-house uh, which had a 2K display. There are differences between the 2K display and a 720p. I'm not saying there aren't. Uh, it's just that it's not really hindering from the experience being 720p and the uh, dual stereo speakers definitely make up for any loss in whatever you may see uh, as a loss of quality. Uh, so it's great for consuming media. It's a mid-budget uh, shorter phone. It's not a flagship phone. Now, so it's great for consuming media as I've said 10 times by now. Uh, so let's go to the camera now. If you think a 13 megapixel camera would shoot better than the one it made for, it really doesn't. Um, I can tell you right now that it doesn't. Uh, this is the interface. Looks like the one M8, but it has far less stuff here. And I can tell you right now, it's not really good. You're probably seeing uh, pictures flash on the screen from the uh, Desire 816's camera. It's not really good. The contrast isn't there. The colors aren't there. I mean, it's fine. It's, it's average. It doesn't mean that it's 13 megapixels, so it's great. Um, that's it about the phone, to be honest. I didn't want to make a big video about it. Uh, you've seen Sen6, or you can see Sen6. It's nothing really major um, compared to the one I made. Uh, the build is plastic, which is fine. The thing that I can say about the, uh, the Desire 816 is, of course, it's not uh, a flagship phone. It doesn't have a full 1080p uh, display blah 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 but it's been uh, a, a great experience consuming media on this phone as it was on the one i made but this is a 5.5 inch and i know the the g3 has a 2k display 5.5 inches but it doesn't have the stereo speakers and it loses so much it, it's hindering so much from the experience by not having these uh awesome speakers that hcc puts in uh, all of their phones uh right now so that was it for the 816, very small review, and uh, check it out, it's, it is a good phone. Uh, I will have uh, linked in the description some uh, another video just for the speakers of it, and uh, go check it out, because if you're looking for a mid-tier phablet, you can do a lot worse than the 816. That's it for this review, and I'll see you in the next video.